I'm Harrison with Harry's Holsters, and today we're gonna to talk about how to do your hardware install on your infiltrator or your shorty holster. So when you get the holster, it's gonna come like this with a retention hardware installed and no clip on the gun. So the clip's gonna come inside the packaging. With the clip, you're gonna get two screws, two spacers, and two square nuts, along with a thing of Vibratite thread locker. So Vibratite has a couple advantages over Loctite. Vibratite can be applied once and then used three to four times. It doesn't have as long of a cure time as, Vibr as Loctite, and you don't have to completely wash it off and reapply and let it cure 24 hours, like Loctite. So I can't suggest this stuff enough. But to start with, you're gonna to wanna to open this vial up, just cut a little slit, take your screw, and uh, put a little bit on the threads, set it to the side, this is just getting a paper towel or something so you don't mess up your work area, set the screws down on. Let that sit for five minutes. Once that's done, you're gonna to wanna to grab a piece of masking tape, take your holster, and if you're carrying appendix, you're gonna to wanna to put it inside your waistband, figure out your ride height, and then apply the tape to where the holster is gonna sit. So if your belt line sitting right here, you want the tape sitting right above that point. Once you've done that, you can then set it down, take your spacers, and you're gonna notice the spacer is gonna have around a half an inch to where it's gonna sit above that line. So eyeball that, take the tape off, you're gonna see where the spacer sits, and then take a screw, throw it through the clip, hole in the clip, put the spacer through, and then apply it back in the same spot. Then you're gonna to wanna to take one of your nuts, put it in the back of the channel, hand tighten that down, and then you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing on the other side of the holster. Once you've got that done, then put it back inside your waistband, adjust it, make sure it's there, and then take your screwdriver and tighten it down more. Again, put it back inside your waistband, see if it fits right, and then tighten it a quarter turn just to make sure it's really secure. It might be a little less than a quarter turn. If you feel like you're gonna strip the threads or you're going too far, definitely stop. Once you've got that set up, if you have an infiltrator model, that's gonna be the difference between the infiltrator and the shorty is on the back, we have these holes on the mounting channel. And inside these holes, you can take a square knot place it in through the muzzle of the holster. And if you uh, have really large hands or fingers, you might need to take the retention hardware off and access it through that way. But if your hands fit right, you can put this in the channel and there's little index points molded into the channel. So you can get that square nut in there, place it in, place your accessory on top and just tighten your screw down by hand. And again, repeat the quarter turn rule with a screwdriver. After that, the holster is gonna be completely set up. So. If you guys have any other questions, please reach out to us through the website at harrysholsters.com. And remember guys, take charge and carry with confidence.